Elon Musk's SpaceX won a $149 million, 114.8 million euro contract to build mission tracking satellites for the Pentagon, the U.S. Space Development Agency, SDA. Hello, SpaceX fans. We're back with another video for you to quench your thirst in all things space. So buckle right in because we're going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, be sure to press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we'll discuss SpaceX and the Pentagon partnership on building a cargo rocket. In June of 2021, the Pentagon announced that it will be launching an experimental program called Rocket Cargo. The Pentagon Budget Office requested $48 million for the first school year of 2022 for the program, and doing so for the same price as a full fare economy in an aircraft, he says. The idea was to launch the rocket with its passengers to an altitude somewhere in low Earth orbit where air and wind resistance is virtually non-existent. To give us an idea of how fast these commercial rocket flights are meant to be, SpaceX presented some flight durations with the intended rockets, including from New York to Paris in 30 minutes, Honolulu to Tokyo in 30 minutes, while Sydney to Singapore would take 31 minutes. Fast forward to 2021, although the first Starship orbital flight has been delayed, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket has had more success launch missions than any other private or governmental rocket in history, especially since, as you know, SpaceX has recently landed Falcon booster for the 100th time. All this progress that SpaceX is making is really causing the Pentagon to become antsy and restless. SpaceX, known for its reusable rockets and astronaut capsules, is ramping up satellite production for Starlink a growing constellation of hundreds of internet-beaming satellites that Chief Executive Elon Musk hopes will generate enough revenue to help fund SpaceX's interplanetary goals. Under the SDA contract, SpaceX will use its Starlink assembly plant in Redmond, Washington, to build four satellites fitted with a wide-angle infrared missile tracking sensor supplied by a subcontractor. SpaceX in 2019 received $28 million from the Air Force to use the fledgling Starlink satellite network to test encrypted internet services with a number of military planes, though the Air Force has not ordered any Starlink satellites of its own. Last December, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, spent an hour closeted with then-Deputy Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan. Among the topics on the table was SpaceX's failure to win an important contract from the Air Force the previous October. As the Defense Department's Inspector General subsequently reported, Musk acknowledged that the loss was SpaceX's fault. The company had written a poor proposal, the report said, quoting Musk as admitting that it missed the mark. As a result, development stage contracts totaling more than $2.2 billion for a series of military rocket launches starting as early as 2022 went to SpaceX's three rivals in the burgeoning field of private launches, United Launch Alliance, ULA, a joint venture of Boeing and Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Blue Origin a spaceflight company founded by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Since that Pentagon meeting, however, Musk and SpaceX have changed their tone. According to a lawsuit the company filed in May in the Court of Federal Claims, the fault is all the government's. Even though the Pentagon responded that SpaceX had missed the deadline to file a protest, it settled the case in 2015 by revising the contract to give new companies such as SpaceX a better shot in subsequent bidding. The available documents and interviews, however, open a window into the intricate world of defense procurement and SpaceX's ability to find its way in that world, despite the presence of larger, more experienced players. SpaceX maintains that its technology is superior to and more modern than that of its competitors. The U.S. Air Force on Friday awarded rocket builders United Launch Alliance and SpaceX contracts with billions to launch national security missions for five years starting in 2022. The awards represent the second phase of the military's National Security Space Launch Program, which is organized by the Air Force's Space and Missile Systems Center in Los Angeles, California. Four companies, Elon Musk SpaceX, ULA, Northrop Grumman, and Jeff Bezos Blue Origin, bid for the contracts, with the military set to spend about $1 billion per year on launches. The NSSL award represents nearly three dozen launches Scheduled between 2022 and 2026, ULA won 60% of the launches, and SpaceX won the remaining 40%. ULA, a joint venture of Boeing and Lockheed Martin, and SpaceX, are the reigning launch providers for the national security missions, having launched dozens of payloads for the military over the last decade. 
National security missions are the most lucrative in the rocket business, with many worth well over $100 million per launch. The U.S. military awarded ULA and SpaceX over $12 billion worth of launch contracts between 2012 and 2019. Two years ago, the Air Force gave ULA, Northrop Gunman, and Blue Origin development contract awards worth $967 million, $792 million, and $500 million, respectively. The process has been highly competitive, with SpaceX suing the Air Force after not winning a development award and Blue Origin protesting the criteria the Pentagon used for the launch contracts. Each of the companies has been developing next-generation rockets, with the NSSL contracts the top priority. SpaceX has a fleet of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets and is currently testing its massive Starship rocket. ULA is building its Vulcan rocket to replace its aging Atlas and Delta fleet of rockets, as well as to end dependence on Russian-built rocket engines. ULA's Atlas V rocket is powered by RD-180 engines, which are brought from Russia. The U.S. Air Force is expanding a small development program that wants to leverage reusable rockets, like those SpaceX is building, to deliver cargo quickly to anywhere in the world. Called Rocket Cargo, the experimental military program will be led by the U.S. Space Force the Pentagon said. The program will research and help develop capabilities such as landing a rocket on a wide range of non-traditional materials and surfaces, engineering a rocket cargo bay and logistics for rapid loading and unloading, and airdropping cargo from the rocket after re-entry in order to service locations where a rocket or aircraft cannot possibly land. The Air Force's 2022 budget proposal requested almost $50 million dollars for rocket cargo to continue the study concept work it began last year with small contracts to SpaceX and Exploration Architecture Corporation, X-Act. Rocket cargo effectively describes the Starship rockets that SpaceX is developing, as the military program will look at fully reusable private rockets that can launch between 30 and 100 tons. Currently, Starship is the only rocket in development that plans to both be reused and can both launch that much mass. Point-to-point space travel is a form of transportation in which a rocket would launch into space and then return at another location, making it hypothetically capable of bringing supplies or possibly people from one side of the Earth to the other in under an hour. SpaceX has been testing prototypes of Starship at its facility in Texas, most recently landing and receiving prototype SN15 after a high-altitude flight test. While SpaceX is aiming to accomplish a feat no previous rocket has achieved, Reusing rockets quickly to make spaceflight more akin to air travel, instead of the traditional approach of discarding the rocket after launch. The last high-altitude flight test was the first that ended without the prototype exploding. The company has yet to reach orbit with the rocket. Let's see what happens next in 2022. With this, we wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again with more updates.